Hi, I'm Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. I hope that you enjoy these videos that I'm making for my friends at Font Lab. To check out the fonts that I've made, visit calfonts.com. Hi, this is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry, and I am going to show you how to do kerning. This is our quick start video on kerning. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we need to get our classes set up. So we're just going to do a couple here. You can import classes or you can copy classes from another font that you have open. And then if you want, you can generate uh, the kerning classes, which is what we're going to do. So now because of the difference in shape, it didn't quite add all these, so I'm gonna add them. So this is gonna be a left pair. So I am going to label this as a left pair. And then what I like to do is label this blue, okay? And then these ones are going to be my um, right pair for the rounds, okay? And I like to label these green. And then these ones, since they're labeled blue and green, I like to do cyan for those. So that is really helpful because when you are looking through your different classes, you can see which ones have been labeled. Like if these, um, if these have been labeled, you can see that. And when it is in a blue group, it should either be blue or cyan. If you see something that's green in there, then something wrong happened. Okay, another thing you can do to check your classes is just to go through each glyph. And if you look here at the glyph panel, which you can find here through panels and glyph, you can see where it says, oh, it C is in, is in a class here, but the other side, which is this side, doesn't have a class. So if that's intentional, then you can just go through. And, and what I do is, I push my arrow keys, but I'm really looking at this part while I'm looking, going through my arrow keys and making sure that each of the letters has what uh, is in the class as I want. So that helps you to, to sort of avoid uh, problems later when uh, your classes are well made. Okay, so now click on the edit kerning. And we are also going to switch so you should have your kerning panel and your pairs and phrases panel open. We're going to click on pairs and that is going to give us something like this. So this thing in the middle tell, gives you context. So if I want the context off, I can turn that off. If I want lowercase, well, I don't have any lowercase in this font yet. So I can put the context just like that. Okay, so now once we see this, I see that these are your actual pairs that you have. If you go into here and you have each one highlighted, you can look at where they are. And you can also delete them from here by pushing Command A and then, or selecting the ones you want to delete and then pushing the delete key. Okay, so let's just look at some kerning pairs. Let's just do some of it here. Uh, so this, and you can also, if so now how you change your kerning you push shift and then you push arrow, if you're using the keyboard, arrow to the right or to the left to make it negative and to the right to make it positive. If you're going to be doing something like 100, then hold down command and push the arrow and then that's going to bring it over that amount. Okay, then this one, however much you want it to go, we'll say 100 around again and then the, the P and the A are always tricky to ones to do. You can also input the value into here or into here. Okay, let's save that and let's do just a couple more because I want to show you just how to filter out kerning pairs and to modify those if you need. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, and another thing you can do, instead of clicking over to go down, if you're just, if you're both your hands are on the keyboard, you can push Command plus Page Down or Command and Page Up, and that will get you the same thing also. Okay, so we're gonna save that. 
say if I want to modify all of my kerning, I change the, the right side of my A for some reason, and then say I want to modify the kerning on all those sides. So then what I can do, I'll go back to my font area here, and I can say, you know what? Let's only have my selected on that side. So then that puts everything there. So then I go back over to here, I select both of those, and then I hit this hamburger, and I can say adjust pairs. And then we can do what we want. Say we need to do that, that makes it positive, and that brings it out there. That is super helpful when you decide, oh, I need to make a design change to this letter for whatever reason, the serif is too long or whatever. Then you can shorten the serif by 10 or however much you need to, and then just change all the kerning values by 10 if that's what you want. Okay, you can also adjust it in there. Uh, you can choose if it's gonna be negative or if it's gonna be positive kerning values. Okay, so that is your quick start for kerning. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.